Well, hello nerds, and today is going to be a talking points video. Well, one of many things that I'm probably going to be working on, but I figured I would talk to you guys about, well, a lot of things. But mostly today we're going to be talking about the one thing that I keep getting asked about because I did a video about it, I showed you what happens when you put desperation on Lynn and you get her past that, you know, threshold where she can use both brash assault, um, and of course, I, this is not the Lynn I'm, I'm wanting, which one is it? Ah, this one. When you get brash assault, and of course, since uh, Solkati already has desperation 2 on it, you get the basic gist of what happens. Uh, it's an essential uh, brave weapon, um, but you know, it's a legendary brave weapon, at least for uh, our good friend Lynn here's case. And a lot of people were wondering how exactly this can translate into anything when it comes to a seal. Well, um, granted, I don't have it right now, so because I have not been doing much Tempest Trials outside of my daily ones. Um, I'm taking it a bit slower. I'll probably stream me playing some Tempest Trials when I get the chance. But as you can kind of see, yes, uh, Brash Assault right there. Um, available as a seal, and I believe this is the first time, unless maybe Hardy Bearing becomes like a B slot itself later on, that uh, we've actually had a B passive as an, well, as a seal. Um, most of the other ones are either C's or A's, and it's really very odd. Very, very odd indeed. Maybe one of these days we'll see something more, but usually, <laughs> when it comes to this, it's a really hard case to talk about because everyone's going gaga over it like oh my god think about it brash brash assault means that you can do things like um you can give arden it and like he'll have he'll be able to follow up no matter what even if he's below 50 percent health things like that people have been blowing it the hell up and yes it's a really cool ability it's a really cool passive it's a really nice ability to have as a seal it was not really that great of an ability as a B-slot when, you know, every other B-slot vantage, quick repost, um, desperation, obviously. Uh, they, they all basically outplayed it, and so therefore when it comes in the seal form, it becomes a little bit more interesting to look at, or at least be a part of. Now, just, just so we can get this out of the way, um, I do think that a, another YouTuber by the name of Sacred Spear did a pretty good job at least explaining it a lot more when it came to how it can be viable for, you know, certain units. Um, so I will include a link to his video down in the description in case you want to take a look at that and get a better understanding and a better education over what exactly is a part of, well, the seal, or if, you know, maybe... It's a little bit overblown, and I do feel that it's a bit overblown. People were like, oh my god, it's going to change the meta, it's going to change everything. But the thing is, um, yeah, it can essentially change that. Just so we're clear, if you were to take, say, I don't know, a very slow unit, um, someone like, say, I mean, you probably wouldn't want to do it with, I mean, we could probably do Arden. Arden's a good example, but uh, I'm trying to think of a really good slow unit um, that many people like to at least use, and I can probably pick her out. There she is. I mean, she has, you know, 20 speed right now, but even then she is wary fighter. Um, if you were to potentially give Effie, which my Effie does not have her Brave Lance equipped, but she does have it, um, if you were to, in fact, give her a Brash Assault Seal, and then give her Desperation, and then give her, uh, you know, her Brave Lance, or whatever, she could essentially, once she gets past that point of threshold, um, you know, basically have a brave weapon attack that will trigger right at the start, no matter her speed. It will be a constant double, or at least for her, it would be a quad, because of course, you know, brave weapon. So essentially, yeah, that that's what people are freaking out about, because this means that characters that are lower in speed could potentially become much more of a menace, but I don't really see that as happening too, too much. Mostly because speed is such a huge thing in this game right now. When it comes to characters, you either need an ability like Effie with her wary fighter, or, you know, a good enough speed to at least, you know, dock them down a bit to get a bit of more of an advantage, because a lot of characters are all built around raising that speed. Hell, Ira, who is the newest character out there, is probably one of the more, um, 
powerful examples of a speed unit that's gone awry. Um, obviously, now, you know, there you go. But still, nonetheless, I'm not, I'm not saying that she's going to be overpowered, just saying that, you know, that, you know, she's probably the best example of it. It also does mean that characters that uh, can match speeds but can't, you know, do a follow-up will be able to, of course, access that. But the more interesting thing about these kind of seals that are coming out is the potential, is the, well, the potential, at least, for using them on characters who may have more of a disadvantage when it comes to things. Um, I know people throw around Alphonse a lot because he's always on a bench somewhere. Um, let's see if I can find him. But there are a few things that could work with good old Alphonse here. First up is the fact that, well, technically, he does have a weapon, Folkvanger, or whatever it's called. Folkvanger? Fodolfanger? I, I don't I don't really know how to pronounce it. Which apparently can synergize pretty well with uh, Brash Assault. Mostly because, well, if he gets below that health threshold, he will have plus uh, five attack at the start of the turn. Which I'm sure some people will find exciting. Um, I'm not so sure about that myself, but, uh, you know, anything to get Alphonse off the bench is always something that's really fun and interesting, I guess. Um, not to say that, you know, Alphonse is bad, but, you know, he's competing for a slot with other red units, so obviously people are going to just be like, hmm. He also can't be merged, which I'm sure for some is not a big deal. But uh, the one the good thing about Fire Emblem Heroes is, of course, that it's PvE content, and you can really make anything work. Um... But if you ever really wanted to try it, this means, of course, that uh, certain units can become more powerful as they go along. And especially if you invest your, you know, the right amount into seals, you can potentially get them even further. Will Brash Assault change the meta? Chances are it won't. Um, mostly because right now, even in Arena, I mean, even in PvE, a lot of the time it's mostly about trying to get and make sure that your units can either one-shot the unit, <laughs> you know, another unit out there on the field, or at least survive long enough to do so. Um, or at least survive long enough to hopefully weaken and, you know, reposition and try again. That's the basic idea. Granted, with, with that in mind, Brash Assault is going to be a very interesting seal to take a look at, and it also opens up the questions of what else we might see as a seal going on. We already have, technically, I, I don't really care too much about, say, Attack Smoke. Attack Smoke, eh, whatever. It's it's an interesting thing. It will probably be a lot more useful as a seal than as a C ability, at least to me. Um, but, you know, some, some may disagree with that. Still, nonetheless, it's pretty, it's a pretty unique ability. But, you know, then we have things like Guidance, which is a really big calling card for a certain unit that we had. Um, we had people killing Tanas simply to get Guidance out there. And Guidance is going to be available now as an actual seal and something that you can plausibly upgrade. So therefore, this is going to be interesting to see how this works out. Now that we have the whole skill, you know, skill, seal forge system, things are going to be changing a lot more. Um, and it's, it's definitely going to be interesting. You know, Brash Assault was never really seen as a really great ability. Um, mostly because as an ability, it was just kind of outplayed. Now that we have it as an accessible seal that you can upgrade to three, this means ver very big complications that are going to happen. And it could mean even more as we go along, because now we're starting to see seals in other places. You know, before, I don't think we ever saw a B skill. And now we have a B skill in, well, seal form. And it's not exactly the best, but it does mean that you can essentially make a brave weapon out of nothing if you get the right parameters. Uh, that parameters are, you know, those parameters are probably going to be a lot more useful in things like chain challenges and Tempest Trials than they would be in, say, you know, an actual PvP environment like Arena, or even in Story Mode it would be pretty viable too. But, um, outside of that, it's, it's really difficult to say. The idea is you want Desperation so you can trigger it quicker, you know, it's going to be an essential, you know, actual Brave weapon, and with certain characters, it could really push them beyond, and it's just something that's just phenomenal in a way. And it's something that I think people need to pick up, at least just to have it um, when it comes to a seal, because otherwise there's really no, you know, I mean, 
you, you really have no excuse not to, at least, I think. I mean, you might as well go for Arden and then eventually get the Guidance Seal as well. I mean, get some Sacred Coins along the way as well. But it's just, well, honestly, I don't think it's as powerful as people are making out to be. Will it change the meta? <sighs> Who knows? Will it be something that's really, really powerful? I can't really tell you. Outside of that, um, well, it's, it's something fun and interesting to see, and it's always something amazing to see when there's a new seal that people can speculate about. Um, do I think it's actually going to change anything? It's, it's, it's really going to be hard to see. I don't think people are going to be investing too heavily in Brash Assault, at least as a seal, right away. Um, but I, I do like talking about it, and I do like seeing what you guys think, so feel free to talk to me in the comments about what you think about the Brash Assault seal and any of the other seals. I mean, Guidance is a pretty nice one. At least Tana is going to be spared from dying some more over a really silly sea passive. Maybe one day she'll be back as a focus and people can just kill her willy-nilly then, huh? <laughs> Anyways, catch you nerds later. Thanks for watching.